Hello everyone, today we'll have a new lesson about ICT project maintenance. Let's talk about creating online service with Max Forms. The internet will give you a lot of options in gathering your audience feedback. The only difference that you and your group may not notice is how the services are presented. Some of them, because they are free to use, may have too many ads or some features unlucky. In any case, it's your group's choice which of these services is the cumbersome to reach your objective. Google offers one of the easiest ways to gather users' feedback. Google Forms allow your audience to answer a set of questions you have set. This can be used for surveys, feedback, online registrations, and customer care support. You will be taken to Google Forms interface. Once you are done editing a question, click Done. To add a new question or item, click on Add Item. Clicking on the drop-down arrow at the right side of the Add Item button will bring up other options for layout. First, the section header. It adds a header for a specific part of your survey. Next, page break. Adds a page break, which means that the items at the bottom of the page will be added to the next page, necessarily if your survey is too long. Then, the image. Adds an image to your survey. Video. Adds a video to your survey. There is also multiple choice that can be answered by only one answer in a set of options. How about creating feedback forms using Google Forms? Here are the following steps. Open your browser and go to drive.google.com. Sign in or create an account. On the left hand here of your my Drive page, click New, then More, then Google Forms. You may now fill out the form questions. For example, in a question title, includes the question that will be answered by your audience. Then the help text creates a subtext under the question to give more information about the question. Then the question type changes the type question according to your preference. This includes question text can be answered in a short text. Paragraph text can be answered in a long text. Check boxes are questions that can be answered with multiple answers in a set of options. Then choose from a list in similar to a multiple choice question, but options are revealed in a drop down list. Scale a question that can be answered with a numerical range. Grid a question that contains sub questions with similar options as shown. So there's a date wherein a question that can be answered with a specific date and time wherein a question that can be answered with a specific a specified time. Also, there's advanced settings you can, that contains more options for the specified question type. Then, edit the confirmation page option at the bottom as you see fit. First, show link to submit another response that allows the user to answer the same form again. Publish and show a public link to form results that allows users to see the summarized results for your survey. Then allow responders to edit responses after submitting that allows users to back and edit their answers. Then click the send form button. The send form dialog box will appear this option as you see it. So there is a link to share that contains the URL that you can share on your website. Then embed, that contains an embed code to attach to your HTML. 
then short URL that generates a shorter URL necessary for limited spaces like sharing on Twitter. There is also share link via allows you to which share the link to Google Plus, Facebook, and Twitter. Send form via email allows you to share the form by email. Add collaborators allows others to edit your form necessary when working on groups. The easiest way to view the result is viewing a summary of the responses. Click on response responses then summary of responses next you will be taken to a summary of responses page this is particularly useful for viewing results from time to time however after a set amount of time you may want to use this data in a spreadsheet and eventually create your own charts to use the data collected through responses click View Responses button found on the upper part of the page. When analyzing your Google Forms result, you can choose if you want to create a new Google Sheet as the destination of your response results or if you want to put it on an existing Google Sheet. So that's all for the discussion about ICT Project Maintenance. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.